Well, here we go again. Knockout stages tonight. For those of you who follow our coverage, you'll know we often refer to Kevin Keegan as uh, our leader. He's back. So to Mitchell Salgado, I'm delighted to say, and Gianfranco Zola. So when Brazil play this evening against Chile, uh, those three legends will be in our studio. A um, couple of things from the press today, which I, I did want to refer to, I have done on Twitter. King Kenny, Kenny Dalglish's piece in the Mirror. Um, last two paragraphs read something like, some people have injuries you can't see amid all the noise. It's well worth remembering that. Uh, obviously referring to Suarez. Uh, I've been as guilty as anybody of uh, uh, having a, um, a, a fairly uh, critical view of what happened, but um, thought-provoking today. You may not agree with what Kenny has to say, and you may question his motives for saying it, but I'm just telling you, um, there are few more honest and uh, passionate people in football, and what he's done down the years for others requires that he has a, an audience that listens carefully rather than just berates. Anyway, facts and figures. There's a great piece today in The Guardian. Forgive me, uh, although I have my eyes done recently, occasionally when I'm tired. I require these, but um, it's a great piece in The Guardian, John Ashdown, um, um, opening paragraph, a quick pub quiz question, why has Norwich City's Leroy Fur had a better World Cup than Lionel Messi? You might think the Argentinians' four goals outweigh Fur's solitary strike, but while Messi has scored a goal per hour in Brazil, the Dutch midfield player averages a goal every 15 minutes on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> lies, damned lies, and all that, he goes on to say. But some of the statistics from the group stage, he also points out, are fascinating. I'm not a great one for the stats, as you know, but they always give us something to talk about. Um, which team committed the most fouls in the group stage? Uh, Honduras, right? Uh, no. Holland. Holland were the dirtiest team in the group stages in terms of fouls committed with 68. Honduras, in contrast, committed only 46, putting them not only below the Dutch, but also Costa Rica, Colombia and seven others. On the flip side, which team has been the unfortunate victim of most fouls? Spain, you might think. Or the twinkle-toed hosts, Brazil? No. Nope. Greece is the answer. <laughs> It's the answer, who have been fouled 61 times, one of which, of course, provided that last gasp penalty that secured their place in the knockout stages. He writes, uh, And forget the idea of jinking runs of Neymar or Messi being continually ended by brutal challengers. Who is the most fouled player in the tournament to date? Georgios Samaras is the joint most fouled player of this tournament. 17 free kicks he's won, more than those of Neymar and Messi combined, and they match only by Chile's Alexis Sanchez. I mean, it, it goes on and on. I mean, there are so many in here which are interesting, half of which you can argue to a standstill, as he says, lies and damn lies. But um, much was made of Arjen Robben's pace when tearing Spain apart in Salvador. FIFA's official speed stats, though, show the Flying Dutchman lagging behind with a top speed of 31 kph, while the Ivory Coast fullback Serge Aurier leads the pack at 33.5. I, I really don't know what that tells you. Um, I'd like to see them in a straight race across 100 metres, and that might be a better comparison. But um, uh, uh, distance covered, Michael Bradley in the USA midfield. Not surprised to learn that he's covered a greater distance in the tournament than any other player. 38 kilometres in three matches. Uh, Mascherano, Argentina's midfield player, has helped him complete more passes than any other player. 278, eclipsing Tony Cruz. 260 for Philip Lahm, 252 uh, for Andrea Pirlo. Um, knock at the door. I'll be back.